I'm gonna go ahead and begin my game outside so that uh, just because I am going to be dealing with powders so that I don't make a huge mess outside so these are the um, three main ingredients that you're gonna need the, the main ingredient is cornstarch this is going to absorb your oils from your hair and it's going to um, give you volume the second ingredient is baking soda this is going to deodorize your hair cocoa powder is going to be the third main ingredient and what it's going to do it is going to give you the cocoa smell as well as tint the dry shampoo and if you have blonde or very light hair you're going to use baby powder or an alternative is also oatmeal powder that's going to give you the yellow tint and then if you have red hair it's going to be ground cinnamon all right I'm going to need a measuring cup okay and a little spoon this this is equivalent to one teaspoon i've already measured it so we're going to begin with cornstarch you want to use one fourth of a cup which is right there we're going to fill it up that much with cornstarch Alright, that's about one fourth. So that's it for that. Next, we're gonna be taking um, the baking soda, and we're gonna use one spoonful, one teaspoon of this. So we're done with these two, now we're going to use, um, for this one there's no exact amount of how much you want to use, I mean it is recommended you can use two teaspoons, but whatever you are comfortable with, however much of a tint you want, as and um, however um, much you want it to smell like cocoa powder. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. We're gonna take out two spoonfuls of this. Now that we've got our product in there, we're going to begin mixing everything in the to continue mixing that up and then um, just smell it to see if you're um, happy with the scent of it what I'm going to do though just because I really want a little bit more of a fresh scent is I'm going to throw in a tiny bit of baby powder give it the little fresh scent that it has you can add in as many ingredients as you want into here. It really just depends on you. It's going to be going into your hair. So whatever you would like your hair to take and you can take. So this is how the um, dry shampoo looks when it's inside a thing. Very, very powdery. 